Well, new developments today on a story that we have been following closely here on America Live. The family of terminally ill baby Joseph up in Canada has won a major victory. Joseph taken out of a Canadian hospital overnight and flown to a children's hospital in St. Louis, Missouri. You may remember how little Joseph's parents were battling Canadian doctors. The parents wanted to bring Joseph home for his final days. But doctors in Canada refused that request and refused the parents' request to perform a tracheotomy that would help keep the child breathing with them at home. Uh, the doctors in Canada say Joseph is in a vegetative state with no hope of recovery and tried to put the decision in the hands of the courts where Joseph's parents were losing. But what an about face. Joining me now is little Joseph's father, Mo Marachi, and father Frank Pavone, who helped the family bring little Joseph back to the United States. Wow, what an incredible shift in events. Mo, let me start with you because you were here after you had lost badly in the Canadian court system yeah. and they were saying you could not take your son home, that he would die in that Canadian hospital and that they were trying to force you to consent to it. And now what a difference a couple of weeks make. What your reaction to the latest news? Uh, it's miracle or victory. We win. Should the right be in the end win? And my son now his freedom. I'm very excited. I'm. I don't know. I'm very happy. Oh. What a wonderful thing to hear I'm from very you. happy. Uh, I mean, yeah. the last time you were with us, that, that was not an adjective you were using to describe yourself. Father Pavone, I've got to ask you, you stepped in. You are with Priests for Life. Uh, you are the national director of that group. And uh, you work with other f members of this group to try to defend life uh, at every stage. And that's what you did here. You worked with a lot of people to try to get baby Joseph out of Canada. How did you finally do it? That Canadian healthcare system was fighting at every, at every turn to prevent this. Well, it was really so many of our, our Fox viewers that, that won this victory because what we at Priests for Life did was we made the story uh, widely known and we sent out repeated specific action alerts to which people responded in a marvelous way, targeting the hospital in a clear, firm but respectful way and saying to them, look, we're not saying that people should be kept alive at any cost, uh, nor are we saying that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, there's any specific treatment plan here that we're imposing. What we're saying is give the baby reasonable care and listen to the parents who want to get a second opinion in American hospital. But what's amazing, we, we Father, is, is that, that you know, Mo and his advocates had been making that case for weeks unsuccessfully. You know, they had taken this yes. up and up and up on appeal in Canada and the hospital was standing firm. I mean, what, what finally did it? What finally did you do that, that turned the hospital's opinion around? Well, we got tens of thousands of people to contact the hospital directly, and uh, I don't think they could stand the pressure. I mean, we got a call yesterday afternoon, and I was uh, preaching in uh, in Cleveland, and uh, they said, "Okay, they want to they want to send the baby uh, out uh, this afternoon." So I changed my flight plans. We went up there in a medical jet that we had already arranged for, and we had standing by, and we were able to bring the baby here to St. Louis Cardinal Glennon Hospital. Stepped up to the plate, and we have just had a marvelous experience here, where the baby's being evaluated right now. And we are just so grateful to the, the tens of thousands, like I said, who spoke up and to the people now here who are attending to this baby's medical care in accordance with the wishes of the parents. Wow. Mo, what's next for you and your wife and little Joseph? Uh, now, just uh, I will accept and I will respect the second opinion from uh, the hospital in St. Louis. And uh, what the decision be, I will uh, accept it with uh, all my love, my heart, me and my wife. Because Joseph, uh, he, he got his uh, human right to get a chance to see second opinion. And we give him a uh, chance, uh, how can he want to stay alive, alive. And when God, he want to take his life, he will take it. And nobody can say no to God, but I can say no to the doctor in London Hospital. Wow. I know, Father Pavone, you, you said that this child needed to be in a hospital that cherishes life over the bottom line. You believe, both of you, that he is there now. And congratulations to both of you on, on uh, a hard-fought Thank you very much. For, Thanks, Megan. For you. Thank, you. Thank you. Amen. Wow. How about that?